Good evening. A well-known restaurant owner is facing charges tonight accused of murdering his wife. We are now seeing some of the many police responses to the Yacon residence leading up to Kimberly Yacon's death, where even Doniana County deputies say Robert Yacon appeared to be paranoid. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you the lapel video. He needs mental help. This has been going on way too long. Six months before her death, a frustrated Kimberly Yacon explains to Donia Anna County deputies that her husband, Robert Yacon, is becoming increasingly unhinged, accusing her of having an affair. It's come to a head tonight, or today, when he told me he was going to kill me because he found out I was cheating on him. I mean, it's literally ghosts in his head. On September 18th, Robert Yacon is accused of murdering Kimberly at their Las Cruces home. The Donia Anna County Sheriff says Yacon was shot by deputies after he charged at them. Kimberly owned the Forget About It Italian restaurant and the couple was well known to Donia Anna County deputies. The couple, yeah. Have you never been here before with these guys? I've been here a long time ago, but I didn't know they were the, the owners of that. The local sheriff says deputies were called to the Yacon home 15 times since January for reports of domestic violence and alleged sightings of suspicious people. The police has been called on him multiple times okay. for seeing things that aren't there. In March, Kimberly called deputies after she says Robert threatened to kill her, again accusing her of cheating. Yacon tries to downplay the situation. Just in the middle of a heated talk, I mean, she called. I mean, that was just, that's just what women do, I guess, sometimes. Yacon even shows deputies the evidence he believes proves his wife's infidelity. Am I wrong? Somebody creeping down the side of my house? I don't see that being a person, though. That's probably the shade, sir. That's shade. I don't know. Deputies offered Kimberly a domestic violence pamphlet. I have one. Until Robert to leave and go cool off. All right. You got your word, nothing's going to escalate. Of course, you don't got my words. All I have is my words. So yeah, I promise that. Deputies also leave after a fist bump, but indicate their concern. The recurring theme of alleged infidelity appears repeatedly in the multiple restraining orders the Yacones filed against each other this year. In the first, filed in February, Kimberly says she even took a lie detector test and passed to try to prove to Robert she was not being unfaithful. However, court documents show Kimberly withdrew that petition and another in August, saying the couple reconciled and was working on their marriage. Robert also filed two counter-restraining orders against Kimberly, in one claiming, quote, the man she is having an affair with said he was going to shoot him. That restraining order was granted two days before Kimberly's death. I mean, she's got me going crazy with this, you know. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. In lapel videos, deputies also recommend that Kimberly leave the home and go to a friend's or a hotel. She said Robert controlled all of the money and she could not afford it. In the wake of Kimberly Cone's death, the Doña Ana County Sheriff is explaining why her husband still had his guns despite the state's red flag law. This is the criminal justice system, so we are a part of the system. We in the in part of this are merely the messengers. The 2020 law is meant to take firearms away from people who pose a danger to themselves or to others. And since Yacon was a convicted felon, he should not have had a gun at all. But Sheriff Kim Stewart says someone would have had to report that he had guns for law enforcement to take action. This is a process that people are going to have to step up and be part of for it to really function the way it should. The sheriff says there was no such report in Yacon's case. She also says red flag requests, known as extreme risk protection orders, are more likely to get approved by a judge when they come directly from a family member rather than law enforcement.